Devontae Davis and Frank Martin fights tonight, which is a, this is the biggest fight in Frank Martin's career. His first title fight, and, and this is everything to him. He has a lot uh, riding on this. And a lot of people say, well, Tang is the one that has a lot to lose. Well, if you really want to look at it, man, Frank Martin, man, like he has a lot to lose as well because he has, you know, he started boxing late. So he is on his way to a title shot tonight, man. This is this is big for him. Somebody that's a late bloomer in boxing to get a, a, a title, to snatch a title from somebody that's considered the face of boxing, so-called, and for somebody that's the, one of the hardest punches in the sport is big. Uh, the problem is, man, sometimes we don't know how these boxers are going to act when they get under the lights. You know, we got these, you know, we got thousands of people in the arena coming to see you put on a show. Especially when he said, you know, this is why, you know, a lot of times when these fighters before the fight, they'll say they're going to get a knockout or they're going to do this, that, and the third. Frank Martin said he's going to step on tank. So we, uh, he's he's putting himself on that high expectation list. So people are expecting him to go in there and, and put hands and feet on Tank Davis. And if he doesn't, um, nobody's going to take him serious again, man. You know, and that's why I think boxers should be real careful. They choice of words before fights. They should, you know, just just down downplay it a little bit, man. Just be like, listen, man, my intentions is to go in there. My intentions are. He should, you know, always put that prefix in front of it. My intentions are to go in there and step on tank. But when you don't put that prefix there, it's similar to what Devin Haney does a lot. You know, I'm going, I'm going to go in there and beat your ass. I'm going to beat his ass, and then you go in there and you get knocked down a bunch of times. And I, you know, I know the situation was a little different. I'm just saying, um, uh, Devin has done that in other fights too. Uh, I'm going to get the KO, and then he goes in there and then nothing. You know, stuff like that. Or and not just Devin. A lot of fighters do that. Shakur just did that. He did that with um with Edward De Los Santos. And that's the reason why everybody looking at him funny because if you just before the fight, you know, I'm gonna I'm go in there, I'm gonna give him my best. I don't, you know what I mean? I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna try to put a beating on this boy. You gotta, there's a little words, try, uh, this, uh, I, I expect to. You know, when you just go in there and say, I'm gonna definitely do this, I'm gonna do that, and then when you don't do it, you're gonna look funny style. So, Frank Martin, he got a lot to put on for it. He got a lot of shit, he got a lot to prove tonight, bro. Goes to what people might think. He got a lot to prove tonight. I think he's gonna make a good showing of himself though, even if he loses. But um hopefully he don't get distracted and get nervous by the bright lights, man. Because he's he's you know, we don't want him to get caught in the moment. Like he start in his mind, like, damn, this is big, man. I'm I'm really here. Oh man, I said I was gonna step on this dude. Damn, I I this belt, this you know, this is one of the this is a long shot that I, you know, one of the only few opportunities. My window was small, you know, and he goes in there and gets his brain get clouded and he lose, you know, real quick, like two rounds or some shit. I'm like, oh, shit. And that, that's going to hurt his stock. You feel me? So we shall see, man. Um, do you guys think the bright lights are going to affect Frank Martin, man? Sometimes it does. Some fighters have the mental fortitude to not let that happen, but we'll see. Let me know what you think, man. This is Rebel Life Boxing. I'll catch y'all in the next one.